is Nairobi. And in just a few minutes, we'll be speaking to Victor Buire, who is the deputy CEO of the Media Council of Kenya, just to get a glance on the state of media freedom in Kenya and the greater East African region. But before that, Kenya is fronting Attorney General Gidhu Mwigai to contest for the position of judge of the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea. The, tri the tribunal, based in Hamburg, Germany, is an independent judicial body with respons responsibility for the regulation of seabed mining beyond the limits of national jurisdiction that is beyond the limits of territorial sea the state-sponsored candidature of dr mugai was announced by deputy president william ruto while he opened this 56th session of, of the asian african legal consultative organization meeting here in nairobi if they are attorney general professor githu mugai the top legal advisor to the government and a man who has been described as eloquent has now set his eyes on another top seat to become a judge at the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea, a tribunal set to solve disputes arising out of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. We applaud all eminent legal experts from ALCO regions for these great achievements. It is for this reason that I am proud to offer Kenya's Professor Gidu Muigai the Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya for the post of judge of the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea. Professor Mugai holds extraordinary experience and distinguished service at the national and international level. The announcement by Deputy President William Ruto during the official opening of the 56th session of the Asian African Legal Consultative Organization meeting in Nairobi can only be described as timely. This is so as the meeting draws its participants from within the legal sector as well as high-ranking diplomats from around the globe, delegates that may be potential voters of the judge at the International Tribunal. The International Tribunal of the Law of the Sea is composed of 21 independent members elected by secret ballot by the state parties to the convention. Each state party may nominate up to two candidates from among persons enjoying the highest reputation for fairness and integrity and of recognized competence in the field of the law of the sea. Moreover, no two members may be nationals of the same state in the tribunal as it is necessary to assure the representation of the principal legal systems of the world and equitable geographical distribution. There shall be no fewer than three members from each geographical group that include African states, Asian and Eastern European states, Latin America, the Caribbean states, Western European, and other states. In January this year, Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohammed lost her bid for the African Union Commission chair seat. It was a vote that saw Kenya campaign strongly across Africa, with President Uhuru Kenyatta sending special envoys to 53 countries. Unfortunately, after seven rounds of voting, Amina Mohammed lost to her Chad counterpart, Musa Faki Mahamat. Kenya is set to present a number of candidates for various international positions at the International Court of Justice as well as the International Criminal Court, ICC. However, if Getumwigai gets to clinch the lucrative seat, Kenya's profile on the global map will rise and in turn serve as a gateway to many developmental steps in Kenya. Raquel Mugai, KTN News. And in studio now, maritime law expert Felix Odiambo joins us for more context into this. Many thanks for joining us on Worldview. What would you say has influenced Kenya's decision to front AG Mugai for this position? Uh, thanks, Michelle, for having me. One, on the face of it, it's, a, um, it's an international position. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's available. Uh, there's a vacancy which needs to be filled. And uh, most probably looking at um, the qualifications that are required, mm -hmm. uh, Professor Gidu Mugai fits the bill uh, from the legal uh, uh, requirements point of view. Mm -hmm. But deep down, you remember this is an international, uh, international position and uh, there's a lot of uh, dynamics in terms of uh, international relations, interna in terms of diplomacy. So Kenya, Kenya, Kenya is, is trying to push its weight, uh, diplomatic weight, and see uh, if it can uh, get its um, 
um, diplomatic. He's putting there. Yes. And of course, this is the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea. Yes. And this comes uh, just months after Kenya's last sitting with Somalia uh, in the Somalia-Kenya ma maritime border dispute. <laughs> um, the wider perception was that Kenya, first of all, was losing in that dispute with Somalia. Could this be a move for Kenya to gain international ground and uh, sort of gain an upper hand in the Kenya-Somalia dispute? Um, not, not really from a, a strictly legal perspective. Uh, in the sense that, uh, remember, this is uh, a tribunal uh, that is constituted or that is established under the 1982 UN Convention mm -hmm. on the Law of the Sea. Um, and it's an independent uh, uh, judicial organ, so to speak, which has got no relationship with the International Court of Justice, uh -huh. where the dispute uh, uh, presently uh, is presently being had. So, 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 so this is is um, a different entity altogether, and 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 because there is no direct linkage. Uh, between the ICJ and, and, and the ITLOS, mm -hmm. there is not necessarily, it's not necessarily the case, legally speaking, that Kenya is trying to get an upper hand uh, in this, in this particular, uh, with this particular nomination. In fact, if Kenya, uh, the, the, the dispute between Kenya and um, Somalia uh, will be largely a legal issue laced with a lot of international politics mm -hmm. because this is, this is going to involve a lot of diplomatic, uh, diplomatic uh, meetings, you know, negotiations, so to speak. But looking at it also from a, a, a political point of view and a national relations point of view, I do not think Kenya is just fronting Professor Gedo Mugai for the fun of it. Mm -hmm. Kenya must must really have something that... Right, so uh, what benefits there lie therein for the country? Yes, uh, Kenya must really be having something that it needs to, it needs to achieve through this candidacy. Uh, what, what exactly it is, um, that is still open to speculation. Mm -hmm. But you cannot, again, entirely rule out from a political perspective and from a diplomatic point of view that Kenya is, Kenya is, uh, is, is trying to... To, to, to sort of uh, get an advantage or sort of get a leverage in, in, in perhaps its dispute with Somalia. Right. So that cannot be entirely ruled out. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've just had a report uh, earlier on by uh, Janet Chapia. They're mm -hmm. mentioning that Kenya has been uh, f f fronting several candidates for international positions mm -hmm. such as this. The most recent was uh, Amina Mohammed for the position of uh, AU chair. That did not work out very well. What are the chances now of AG Givum Wigai clinching this position? Um, Strictly from um, a legal point of view, in terms of the requirements, qualifications, I think Professor Gidu Mugai fits the bill. And, and from where I sit, I would wish him all the best. Uh, I've worked under him, and um, he's, he's a brilliant mind. Um, he can really fit in terms of representing, being one of the representatives of the common law uh, point of view. Mm -hmm. And then also in terms of this geographical re region, so that is Africa, one of the representatives of Africa. So really, it really fits the bill. What about in terms of Kenya, now, the state of our international relations and the state of our diplomatic relations with other states? Thank you. Uh, but then, for, 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 for a candidate, this is now a Kenyan candidate, mm -hmm. and, 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 and hopefully uh, an African candidate at some point, although I know the other African states will also be fronting candidates, uh, now what is going to come, on, uh, to, to, to come into play? Because now f for us to determine, or rather for, 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 for uh, the, the delegates to ultimately vote mm -hmm. for either Professor Gidu Mugai or some other candidate, now what is going to come uh, on board is, into play is, one, the issue of international politics, mm -hmm. uh, the issue of uh, diplomacy, the issue of international relations. Because ultimately, international law has always been said to be nothing more than international politics. Mm -hmm. So dynamics of issues such as, for instance, what is Kenya's view or what is Kenya's philosophy in terms of uh, multilateralism? Uh, how, does, how is Kenya active or how, does Kenya, uh, uh, how is Kenya rated in terms of its support for international institutions? And that, is, that may have an, imp an impact, negative or positive, because in the sense, in the sense that you remember uh, just not so uh, long ago, and uh, the debate is still ongoing, 
Kenya was one of the states, African states, that was yeah. pushing. All right, uh, I understand. Uh, we have just took a short break. We have a small problem with the sound right now. So you're watching Worldview. We took a short break here with us. We'll be back with this.